Dozens of Boston businesses were left in ruins, windows smashed out, fires were set in some areas, and stores were looted. Of course, these are businesses who are hanging on for dear life because of the pandemic. So this is the last thing they needed. WBZ's Mike LaCrosse is also live here on Newbury Street tonight with more on the damage that was done here. Mike? David, we're a couple of blocks away from where you are, closer to the public garden. Take a look behind me. You can see business after business is boarded up. This reminds me more of businesses preparing for a hurricane or a storm. Instead, they're preparing to prevent any damage. And some business owners that we spoke with watched as looters entered their businesses last night and stole right off their shelves. So I kept checking, and the last time I checked, they were in the store. The manager of Wild Duck Wine and Spirits on Washington Street in downtown watched remotely as looters ransacked his family store Sunday night. You know, by the time we got here, this this here was the way you, the way you see it. Glass and puddles of red wine now cover the store's floor. It's ridiculous. It's awful. Manager Sal DiGirolamo is still adding up the damage. They, you know, rifled through our, our, our cash registers there and stuff. He says it'll take at least a month and a half to fix the damage before they can reopen. It's been difficult with uh, COVID-19, so I'm just kind of rolling with the punches. The Oyster Club restaurant here in the Back Bay has extensive damage. The owner tells me this piece of art was thrown through their window. It came from that display case outside their building. Bottles everywhere, glass everywhere. Chef owner Chris Parsons just opened the restaurant last summer and was preparing to reopen patio seating after being closed for months. I feel for, for the community, feel for the team, the staff. Um, you know, but we'll get through it. We'll pick up the pieces and, and we'll move on. Volunteers spent the day helping business owners clean up. These friends were at the peaceful protest before it turned violent. So we decided today, get up and uh, be a part of the solution, not the problem. You know, do what we can to, to make the city better and cleaner and safer overall. And back out live, you can see a crew still working to put plywood over a business tonight here on Newbury Street. Business owners are still very worried, very concerned that there could be a repeat of what we saw last night. Reporting live in Boston, I'm Mike LaCrosse, WBC News. All right, Mike, thank you. And as people gather,